All right, guys, today we are going to be talking about essentially the inverse of a previous video that I did where I discussed my budget survival in bushcraft knife combo. Today we are talking about, like I said, the inverse. This is the expensive survival and bushcraft knife combo talking about both of the knives what they are and why i choose them now ironically let's go over some similarities before we jump into these two guys so first off just like my budget combo that cost under 200 dollars for the pair of them my Cold Steel SRK and my Cold Steel Master Hunter, like I said, both in CPM 3V. These two are also both in CPM 3V. And these two knives right here, what you're looking at are the Bark River Knives Cub, which is the baby version of the Bark River Knives, discontinued Bark River Knives Grizzly, and the Bark River Knives Bushcrafter, which is the original size. They do make a slightly larger version called the Bushcrafter 2. But I think that between these two knives right here, it is my my perfect and probably favorite bushcrafting slash survival knife combo. Now, undoubtedly, I do have some really good, especially survival knives. I do personally love my SRK, love my Chris Reeve knives specific, love my GSO 5.1 as far as a knife goes. Don't love the company, but do actually enjoy the knife. But as far as a combination goes, I think that these two are pretty freaking incredible. Now, I get a lot of smack comments from people who don't know what they're talking about saying, you know, oh, Bark River knives is wrought with, you know, build quality issues and stuff and it's like i've never experienced that in the dozen bark river knives i've owned used handled and uh, i've never really had an issue with any of them and i know for sure that mike stewart if you do ever have an issue he will absolutely take care of it because i have seen my fair share of abused and broken bark river knives and they have an unconditional warranty so if you do end up breaking one for whatever reason you can absolutely get them repaired however Bark River Knives aside and their awesomeness um, aside, the Cub I think is a really cool um, bushcraft, or sorry, survival knife because of a few reasons. First off, I think that this has a genuinely decent size to it. It has around a five and a half inch pushing six inch blade length. And this is truly a blade length here. Some people get it kind of confused because when you look at something like this Survive Knives GSO, this is a bigger physical knife as you guys can see here. But the actual blade length to blade length is you can see the uh, cub is actually a little bit bigger so this is truthfully a over five inch blade length here like i said once they like five and a half um, inch blade length on this guy which i find to be pretty good and honestly because of its more compact size once again you're not dealing with a huge finger choil you're not dealing with like a huge overall knife you actually have a fairly compact knife but what i will say that is done well just like a typical bark river is you have a very great very comfy um, almost leku styled handle here and it feels super good in the hand once again this is a knife that you can hold for hours on end i also like how they did the jimping the jimping is you can see is pretty far back so just in a normal resting configuration with your thumb on the spine say you're doing feather sticks and stuff you're never even going to feel the jimping um, if you do need to lock into that jimping you can move your thumb back lock into the jimping there and you know still get that traction so it's still there and it's still effective now as far as other things go once again um, earlier generations as i was told do have some fragility at the tip kind of issues this is of course a later generation and to me from everything I can see, uh, I think it's perfectly fine. About the only thing I really don't love about this knife is the kind of aesthetic fuller to it. But once again, it's more of a stylistic choice. It really doesn't affect the strength or the performance of this knife at all. Now, this is 530 seconds of an inch thick CPM 3V, as I had stated earlier. And so I think as far as actual use goes, I love 530 seconds because it's that kind of perfect median between being thick enough to really handle a lot of larger heavy duty tasks, but also without being too thick that you just have a sharpened pry bar. So you have a nice high convex grind on this guy as well so it is incredibly slicey and incredibly sharp now looking at the other side of the equation we have the bark river nice bushcrafter which you guys probably know if you've been around the channel for any length of time is one of my absolute favorite 
bushcrafting knives and I think that this is just for me pretty much perfection and while it's not necessarily the most attainable knife I do feel like the Bark River Knives Bushcrafter is just perfection like I think it's the perfect size it is a little bit of a smaller knife but it's large enough to do pretty much any realistic bushcrafting task of course once again 530 seconds of an inch thick CPM 3V steel so you are left with a very tough very shock resistant very durable steel that is going to be able to perform for basically ever. I mean, this thing is incredible. I've had two bushcrafters. I made the dumb mistake of selling my very first bushcrafter. So I ended up buying another one because I really love them. And once again, that classic Coke bottle shaped handle, if I can <laughs> try to show you guys the profile, isn't always the easiest, but you guys can see their classic Coke bottle shaped style handle and it just fits the hand like a glove. Feels absolutely comfortable. Of course, this is a rampless, gimpless model. <clears throat> this is a rampless, gimpless model here. So you are not dealing with anything like that. So really do love it. Um, this is a fantastic and really well-made knife. Both of them honestly are. Now, once again, it's hard to get away from the fact that, like I said, this is my high-end bushcrafting survival knife combo. And so what we're looking at here is, as I previously mentioned, like my Cold Steel, SRK, and Master Hunter were under $100 each. So I spent under $200 for a combo that, in my opinion, will probably last someone a lifetime. And that's why I think it's such an incredible value. This combo is a little bit more expensive. Both of these here um, cost about, uh, the Bushcrafter about $230, the Cub about $270. So you're looking at a grand total of about $500 for the pair. So you're looking at, you know, more than double the cost. In fact, you know, for one of these knives, you could buy both of those knives. And that's why in that video, I had been so ardent about like this is an incredible deal like for reference you can buy both of those knives for less than the cost of one of these knives and so it's incredible and i'm actually very stoked that um, cold steel is able to offer that level of discount now of course that does come with the fact that that both of those knives are made in Taiwan, so they are made overseas. And so these knives are handmade or semi-custom blades made in the US. So that is partly why they are drastically more expensive. But realistically speaking, um, once again, I am a knife collector, knife enthusiast. So I get enjoyment out of just using knives. I don't necessarily, you know, always look at, you know, the most economic or most value-driven blades. I try to always bring it out as an offering. So you guys know, but you know, this isn't necessarily like you need to use this or need to use that. So anyways, um, I thought that would be worth mentioning, worth talking about. But yeah, this is my higher end um, bushcrafting and survival knife combo. The Bark River Knives Cub and Bushcrafter are fantastic choices and I really love them. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.